Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial about making a planet in Houdini and we're gonna make it as you see here in Houdini with these colors so in unity we can mask it out and make a shader and make uh, tweaks like we want and as you can see here we're gonna do some clouds really quick it's super easy like a minute or max but in this tutorial, we're not going to touch Unity really. We're just going to be inside Houdini and make this one. And in next tutorial, we're going to make this kind of stuff. So let's get started. First, uh, let's see. I'm actually going to... Um, this one we don't really need at the moment. So let's see. Um, this one... I'm actually only going to save here this file so i'm gonna save as and it's in the correct place so i have it here so later in the next tutorial it's easy to just grab stuff where it's saved in the same location as the <clears throat> houdini file all right so in houdini first off of course you could guess it geometry and a spear node like this and so I'm going to, in this case, make it times two in the uniform scale. And I'm going to change to primitive or polygon because when I do remesh, I found this to be much more better output to start with. So let's say if I had this one, I can always see some kind of patterns so I can explain what I mean if I do a remesh and let's do 0.2 so we got some mesh to work with you see we have these bands here from the um, poly polygon mesh right and of course we could do iteration the smoothing and stuff there is still some banding going on right it can see the geometry so that's why I prefer Polygon. Because then it's kind of super smooth. So we're going to work inside a point warp node. Point warp node. So it's kind of coding, but you do it in node based in this one. So if you never seen this before, you have Position, velocity, force, color, normal, right? Then you have position, color, normal here, velocity. So let's say if you do, just did this, you kind of don't really do anything, right? And uh, But if you just do a tour, let's say we can do uh, this place along normal. We can start to tweak here like this no oh yeah because we need an amount here right if we do float actually a constant we need a constant node here and here we can just drag it in and extrude it so that's how it works so you can just um and if i delete it this one doesn't really export any information so the first thing we're going to make is some kind of mask. So we want a mask. And the way we can visualize this uh, is by using some noise. And we're going to have a turbulent noise. So if I just do, it needs some kind of position, right? So we're going to use the position because we're doing on each point. So each blue point here going to get a new color based on what we do here. So this is a float value and we just plug it into the CD. Here we have some noise. And if we tw tweak here, we can work with it and do stuff. And this is going to be the main mask, let's say. So it's really a lot. It's fun. You, you can do, do a lot of stuff here. 
So here you can do different noises and have, yeah, actually, this one seems like a good start to make some kind of um, land mask. And you can see this specular part here. I don't really like it. So I'm going to turn it off here. And actually the grid too. So here, if we did just do a fit node, fit range, it's like the remap node. Oh uh, yeah. Here it is. And if we do plug it in here, so we could just kind of clamp this here. So now we have a really good solid mask to work with. And I'm actually just going to right click copy parameter. And then I'm going to do paste here. Paste rel uh, relative reference. And just going to add 0 0.3. Well, actually 0 0.03. So now if I just do this one, I can easily control the shape. And also <clears throat> you can do some here. We can work with the roughness. And here you have the turbulence. You can turn that off a bit if you want. So, and this amplitude is also kind of how strong the noise is going to be, but now we kind of, the amplitude part we take care of in the fit nodes, so we don't really need to bother with that one. Let's say we do some, um, this shape maybe, and uh, turbulence we can choose, let's keep that free. And also, you see, here we can do the frequency, how big the noise is going to be, or how deep now you see it's going to be a lot of noise. So we're going to keep it at one. But actually I, I prefer to offset the Because otherwise 0, 0, 0 always going to get some kind of... Um, you never know what's happened in 0, 0, 0 value in a noise output. So I always tend to add an offset. So I always know that... Um, it's not going to be a problem. So here we can offset it and see if we find an interesting shape. So here we have a lot of water. So then we can go here and change if we want more or less. And then keep it there in the bottom. And then go back here and do offset it. It's starting to get an in interesting shape. So roughness, yeah. Turbulent. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. it's gonna be good enough. You can tweak this forever. So now we have this fit um, remap node, right? And now we can divide it for the land part. So the land part, we're going to make like this. And I'm going to use a static noise. You have a lot of noise here. But I like uh, somewhere, I, I, know, I know, somewhere I read a static noise is a fast node to work with so i'm going to stick with that one and you see it actually plug in cc bias we're going to remove it to the position and if we just if we just plug it into position right like this it's um only put it in a really uh, weird way so the thing is the noise is a <clears throat> as you see here one dimension we can have 3D input and output 3D noise, then we get something else. But we're actually going to keep it at one dimension noise. And we're going to use this um, this place along normal. So we're going to do the noise into the amount. And then we're going to do display like this. So 
now the noise is quite big so if we actually we're going to remove the color for now if we do and uh, i'm going to see if we do specular yeah no i removed so if we do this um frequency and we do it more you see we get more noise so that's super nice and we also have different noise here you see really cellular and so forth and in the turbo noise you don't have the same noises so that it could be a good thing to look through them all but here we're gonna have um this one looks fairly good actually and um so this is a really nice noise to have when you do rocks and this feels a little bit mountain rocky so the cool thing is now when we made this um, land so if we look the color everywhere where it's black we want the um, noise not to be so we just do a multiply So now you see we only have the noise on the land. So this is super cool. And um, I think I want a little bit less. This could be better. And also we want to do this kind of remap thing again. So if we do a fit range and do it here so what I want to do I kind of want to um, if I drag here you can see it starts much higher on the value so we kind of clamp down so the the small hills kind of get yeah how to say cut so if I do like this we can see we can decide how many mountains we want and also here you see the shape on this one it's kind of um yeah so let's remove the color and i do the color from the noise you can it's a good thing to do so now you see how the noise looks right and we want to kind of hide this pattern a little bit so if we look here because eventually you get good at noise and stuff and you see noise everywhere and then you want to level up it a bit and make it look better and it's a really convenient way to do it in here because here you can just do a fractal type terrain so it's so just add a little bit of noise and we can add roughness to it so um and octane you can play around with oh okay it doesn't do much and here you have um, I forgot what that did actually but now you can see we have more uneven shapes and that's really nice so what we can do here if we do take back the mask for the island like this we can now use this fit range <clears throat> and let's see here so let's keep this one out for now i kind of it's easier to see what's happening and we can here you can actually tweak the output how much you want the mountain shapes to extrude and there's another thing i want to do as well because um yeah i'm gonna wait for that one so let's say now we have let's see here we have the so this is the noise part so i'm gonna make this one green because this is the land part and now we're actually gonna have the same stuff down here this is gonna be the ocean part so I actually want to have 
some, you don't really need to do this, but it's n a nice to know. But you want to have some um, shape to the ground as well, kind of ocean ground. But instead here we're going to do from, it's going to be negative to negative 0 0.5. So we're kind of going to do like this. And if we just do offset this a bit, and then we do, if we take this um, fit node here, um, let's see how I'm thinking about this. Let's wait with that one. So we're going to remove the multiply. So we have the fit here and we're going to import that to a mix. Mix is like a lerp. So if we have, if we put in the land part in an in input two and um, ocean in one, then we have this um, <clears throat> land. So white gonna show the land and black gonna show the ocean. So first off, we can do the colors. Well, actually, we just do it in the month. Now you see, you actually have some cracks. It's going to be the bottom of the ocean. But there is here, we can actually uh, do destination min. So here is the input min and output. Sorry, here is the input min and max, and here is the out min and max. So if we want to raise up the, um, let's see, um, If we want to raise up the land a bit, we can just do it in the fit range here. So if we do like this, we kind of just raise the land part a bit, right? So that's nice. So if we remove here, now you can see we're starting to get the shape of an earth. Really cool. So the here, the mountain gets pretty high. So I'm actually, first off the land, I don't want it to be that high. I'm just going to go a little bit easier on that one. And also the mountains, I don't want it to be that strong either. So I'm gonna, here the output gonna going to clamp it right. So this looks much better. And you could, uh, of course, add some more noise to this if you wanted. And now we're going to do the same thing down here. So we do the minimum. We can also, this part here, we can also minimum that one a bit. So if we just do the color like this. Yeah. So we're starting to get some kind of earth-like thing. Super cool. And then we could uh, here, we can just, we want to add more of these shapes. We just add this one, right? And we can um, extrude it. So, but I like it a little bit less. And of course, if you're not happy with this, we can just do the offset, right? to see some other kind of noise pattern. So let's say this is cool. And now we want to add colors to this. So this um, output here is from zero to one. Yeah. So we're going <clears> to, <throat> actually I'm going to do it in the next tutorial because now it's starting to get a little bit long. So this is how you do the shapes. And I'm going to continue by doing the color in the next tutorial. So thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.